Let's look at defining elements in our class to be defined either as private elements, so only accessible within the class, or public elements, which are accessible outside of the class and with the objects that are created from the class. So let's look at our example with a book, class. I'm going to define a class book with curly braces. And I'm going to have some private elements designated with the keyword private. And so this is a reserved word, private. And I'm going to define int words per page equals 50 to be private, as well as a function that prints void print words per page. The function will just print out number of words per page is words per page. And I'm going to add a new line so the print is neat. I'm also going to define a public set of elements. So I've already defined my private elements. My public elements will be another variable, int number of pages, as well as string title. And I'm also going to define a function, int calculate total number of words. And this function will return number of pages. times words per page. Any function within the, the class can access all variables, whether they're private or public. So for example, this public function can access a public variable, number of pages, as well as a private variable, words per page. Then we close the class with a semicolon. And I'm going to create my object using the class book. It's going to be called my book. And I'm going to pass a variable to it using the dot notation. So my book dot number of pages, which is a public variable, equals 13. And I would like to print out total number of, total number of words. So see out my book dot calculate total number of words and I'm going to pass the variable to it. If I run this, I'm able to call public function even though it's calling it's a, using a variable that's private. Let's say I wanted to call a private function. Let's see what happens. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to call print words per page instead of our public one. And if I run this, I get an error because the way I've defined per number of pages, it's a private function. And so I'm not going to be able to access it with my object using the dot notation. So if I return our, the function back to our calling the public function, calculate total number of words, and let's say I called our private function print number of words, number of words per page, Sorry, print words per page, and I run that, I'll see that I can call my public function and my public function can call a private function. So I've printed number of words per page, which is from the private function, prints word per page, and then output 650, which is the calculate total number of words, that's the public function. So that gives you an insight into declaring elements of your class to be private and public and how those behave. Public elements are accessible outside of the class by the object that you create. And private elements are only accessible within the class.